What is the history of Pembroke Welsh Corgis in movies? Pembroke Welsh Corgis are perhaps one of the most recognizable dog breeds, known for their short legs, long bodies, and adorable expressions. These small yet mighty dogs have captured the hearts of many, not only as pets, but also as beloved movie stars. In this video, we will explore the fascinating history of Pembroke Welsh Corgis in movies, from their early appearances to their rise in popularity. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi's journey to the silver screen began in the early 20th century. With their distinctive features and charming personalities, it wasn't long before filmmakers saw the potential of these little dogs. One of the earliest appearances of a Pembroke Welsh Corgi in a movie was in the 1930 film The Beloved Brat, where a corgi named Taffy played a supporting role. Although the film's main focus was not on the corgi, Taffy's appearance added an element of cuteness and comic relief. As the years went by, Pembroke Welsh Corgis started to gain more significant roles in movies. In the 1940s, the Corgis made appearances in several films, including Thunderhead, Son of Flicka, and The Story of Seabiscuit. These movies showcased the Corgis' intelligence, agility, and loyalty, captivating audiences and leaving a lasting impression. However, it was a particular event that truly skyrocketed the popularity of Pembroke Welsh Corgis in movies. In 1933, Queen Elizabeth II received her first Pembroke Welsh Corgi named Dookie as a child, starting a lifelong love affair with the breed. Over the years, the Queen owned more than 30 Corgis, and her affection for them was well known. The Queen's love for Pembroke Welsh Corgis had a tremendous influence on popular culture, and filmmakers took notice. During the 1990s, the popularity of Pembroke Welsh Corgis in movies reached new heights. One of the most notable appearances was in the 1996 live-action adaptation of 101 Dalmatians. In this film, one of the main characters, Roger, owned a Pembroke Welsh Corgi named Perdita. Perdita became a fan favorite, with her playful antics and undeniable charm stealing the show. This film sparked a renewed interest in the breed, with many people wanting to adopt their very own Pembroke Welsh Corgi. The influence of Pembroke Welsh Corgis in movies can still be felt today. In recent years, these adorable dogs have made appearances in various films and TV shows. One of the most famous examples is in the hit Netflix series The Crown, where the role of Queen Elizabeth II's beloved Corgis was impeccably portrayed. The show's attention to detail, including the presence of the Corgis, added an extra layer of authenticity, further solidifying the bond between Pembroke Welsh Corgis and their on-screen counterparts. It is important to note that while Pembroke Welsh Corgis may have gained popularity through their appearances in movies, they are much more than just adorable actors. These intelligent and affectionate dogs make wonderful companions and excel in various activities, such as herding, agility, and obedience. Despite their short stature, they possess a remarkable amount of energy and require mental and physical stimulation to be happy. In conclusion, the history of Pembroke Welsh Corgis in movies is a testament to their undeniable charm and popularity. From their early roles as adorable sidekicks to their significant roles as loyal companions, these dogs have left an indelible mark on the silver screen. Their appearance in films like The Beloved Brat and 101 Dalmatians has catapulted them into the hearts of audiences worldwide. As we continue to see Pembroke Welsh Corgis in movies and TV shows today, their on-screen presence only solidifies their status as beloved canine stars.